Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a brand new video based on, well, you see it in the thumbnail and you see it in the title. Now, on screen, I'm not going to display or show anything that's related to the stuff that I'm going to discuss because I am not trying to have Activision give me another copyright claim. It's really a bit frustrating, and I just, I don't want to go through that. So, you're just going to see, like, gameplay I recorded in the past or trailers or something or images. I don't know, but yeah, we're going to hop straight into it. So as I was watching the Thumpin' Wampa Islands cutscene with Skylanders Imaginators with Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Neo Cortex in it and Aku Aku and fake Crash, surprisingly, um, I was I had a smile on my face. I really love the detail that Vicarious Visions implemented within this trailer. Um, Lex Lane did a fantastic job voicing Cortex in this cutscene, not trailer. I don't know why I called it a trailer, but yeah, I'm running on three hours and ten minutes of sleep, so I apologize if I sound off when I say things. If I um say things that are not fact and stuff that, that's why it's been a, it's been pretty stressful as of lately but um yeah it appears that lex lane was under a non-disclosure agreement when it came to him during that situation when he announced that he was going to be voicing as a doctor in the past and people were wondering and making articles and shit on uh, whether or not he was going to be voicing cortex or not and he didn't say that he said that he wasn't but now he actually is and i mean they, Eh, I mean, I didn't want to make a solid assumption that he was because I didn't want to be that person that everybody else was. And plus, I didn't really want to get into his life, kind of. I, I felt like, I, I feel like them, sh like articles and stuff, sharing that stuff around at the time when he announced that was ruining his privacy. And plus, he took the time out of his day to, for me to interview him. So that would be very disrespectful of me to do a video on that during that time. So I didn't. So that's why, but yeah, um, I really like the detail that Vicarious, the details that Vicarious Visions implemented within the cutscene, you know, fake crash, you know, they really, it really captured the personality of the characters. Well, at least Cortex, Cortex was, Cortex was more on his comedic than evil side, uh, because Clancy Brown has more of an evil Cortex, to be honest. And as I was watching the gameplay of Crash Bandicoot and Cortex, I noticed that, uh, there was a lot of detail details within uh, the Wumpa Island gameplay or Insanity Island gameplay. Um, there was the tribesmen from the first Crash Bandicoot game that was there. And in order to progress throughout the level, they were actually like, there was this button that you had to step on. And you had to wait for the Dingle Dial and Tiny the Tiger statues to pop in and out in order for you to progress to the level. I thought that was really, really nice. With the addition of the classic boulder chasing segment. And also Crash Bandicoot was on fire, which I found pretty hilarious. But I'm assuming that he was on fire so that his speed could get increased. Um, the gameplay looks really cool. From what I've heard, there's going to be like a Crash Bandicoot pack that comes with the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. Or uh, it comes up, it, it comes up. It comes out with all of the consoles, I'm pretty sure. So everyone that has that doesn't have a PS4 are able to play it, which is nice. I'm not really fully against that. I'm just really curious to see what the hell these remakes are going to look like. Now, personally, I don't want the remakes to look like this, which isn't bad. It's just I really need to see like strong similarities to the originals. And, you know, just don't completely abandon the resource, which they won't, obviously, which is kind of stupid of me to say, but, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place, but I really loved and, and enjoyed what they did. Uh, it was really nice. It was really nice. I liked what they did. And that's pretty much my thoughts. I mean, I had a smile on my face as I was watching it. I mean, Cortex mentioned that it was 20 years. I mean, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, it, was, it was really nice. It was really nice. All in all, though, Crash Bandicoot is... In the right hands in terms of a developer for the series he's in the right hands i personally believe that when people bring up developers for the crash bandicoot series naughty dog and traveler's tales oxford studios or just traveler's tales in general i suppose they're the ones that are like overrated even radical in some in, in a sense because people like the shit on titans and modern Mew to this day because of what Radical Entertainment and Sierra did, but all in all, like, in terms of similarities to the originals, Vicarious Visions does a fantastic job at doing so. I think they're, like, one of, if not the best candidate for the Crash Bandicoot series, like, right next to Naughty Dog. They are the second Naughty Dog. It's like Naughty Dog's sister. So, if Naughty Dog's not making a Crash game or anything Crash-related, then it's definitely going to be vicarious visions i mean the closest thing we got to naughty dog with crash as of recent was the uncharted 4 easter egg spoilers but 
yeah i mean but you can't you just can't sleep on vicarious visions and to those that are saying like oh my god i love this skylanders thing that they're doing with crash and cortex it looks so much better than titans like shut the shut up just stop don't fucking compare stop because crash is doing the same thing that he does in crash of titans and run over me he's fucking fighting so what you're saying here does not make a difference the only slight difference is that He's only doing like simple things. And Crash of the Titans and Mind of Ramu, he had more of an advanced technical uh, move set, which gave him a lot more variety as a fighter. That's it. With this game, it's more broken down and simplified because this is a fucking Skylanders game. That's what you have to keep that. That's what you have to keep in mind. Skylanders and Crash of the Titans and Mind of Ramu are two different games and two different series. So do not compare but yeah those are pretty much all of my thoughts thank you guys for watching and or listening and i will see you guys in the next uploads coming to the channel peace out